Alright YouTube, it's official Gary here and today I've got another quick tutorial. Um, last tutorial's feedback was incredible, um, we got 38 likes and 1000 views and um, kind of because of that I wanted to just do tutorials. Um, i seen that my other videos weren't getting as many views so I just decided I was going to delete every video and just continue doing tutorials. But on the other hand, um, I've started to do like 3D again. Um, so. I'm thinking of kind of coming back to that, uh, so definitely let me know if you want to see some of my 3D backgrounds, etc. Um, I'll either be doing it solo or I might be doing it with one of my friends and doing a kind of collaboration kind of thing where we both do the one channel and like can I do it as the one person, like um, Sword Compositing or Der Vader or Der Chemists, sort of idea like that because um, me and my friend do enjoy doing graphics and yeah, um, it'd be good to help each other out and hopefully we can get somewhere with it. But on the other hand, um, today's tutorial is an octopus effect, so um, if you haven't seen it, it's like a octopus arm kind of thing coming out of the text. Um, Synergy Vice uses it and um, Frost Avias uses it, but he uses it in a more kind of detailed way where you can actually see like um, the little sucker things on the arm. Um, not sure how he does that. The only thing I can think of is that he makes the arm half it and um, does all the little sucker things manually and then just like merges everything together and um, puts it on a spline. But I would have to look into that. Um, that looks like a more complex way. So if you haven't seen his style, then definitely check it out. I'd give him full credit for that because it is such an insane style. And um, he's actually Scottish as well, which is pretty cool. Um, Scottish swag, so yeah, I've actually spoken to him, and uh, yeah, if you don't know who he is, definitely check him out. But yeah, um, today's tutorial is basically just like that, but you won't have like the suckers on it, it's kind of like a slender man arm effect thing, and it's just like a big kind of slivery kind of um, like pointy arm thing, but you get the idea of it um, if you haven't seen it already. But yeah, all you want to do is come into this window here and click on that. Um, make sure you have B spline. You can use freehand, but I mean, it look as clean. So, what you're gonna do is select here, somewhere around here, um, here, 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 and just once more here. And uh, you can actually fix fix this up. So, what you're gonna do is come over to your little arrow tool, and then uh, make sure you're still selected on this, and then. Um, just grab this part here and move it across. Grab this part, uh, move it down. Move this across. Grab this part, move it across. Move it down, down. Just kind of make like a nice curve. And, uh, yeah, that looks okay. So now you're just going to come in to here and you see you have this curve and now what you're going to do is select your sweep knobs and add it into that and then grab your circle and just minimise that down to about there and add that into the sweep knobs and you can see you get this kind of like tube thing. Now just change the size of that if you haven't got it in the correct size um, just click on that. Yeah, put it to about 15 and then all you're going to do now is click on the sweep knobs and come down to details and go to scale and you have to watch this bit, this is um, quite important so you're just going to bring this all the way down and straighten, whoops, yeah straighten that up by just moving that. So yeah, that looks okay. Um, and uh, yeah, basically that's kind of it. Um, what I'll basically do now um, is show you how you can use this in your text and stuff. So if you want the arm a little bigger, you know, maybe you don't like it that small, um, you can just increase the size, maybe to 25. And uh, yeah, it looks quite nice. And um, a really good material to go with this is in Droids Texture Pack 2 and it's material number 6 if you haven't got this then you can buy it off Droid for 
Um, twenty five dollars, I think. It's a really good pack. You should definitely consider checking that out. Um, I'll leave his channel in a annotation on the screen. Um, so yeah, when you've got that, you can just add that material on like I did there. Um, you can put cubic and seamless on, or shameless. I don't even know what that says. Um, I don't really know what the difference is. Yeah, it just gives it makes it more cloudy, and if you leave it, I think it may look a bit better. Yeah, it's really up to yourself. You can play around with that, but yeah, it's just a nice material to use with it. So um, just take that, press C, and um, I was just gonna like merge that. Right, yeah. So um. There you have your arm, you can actually save this and use it, like keep it on your computer for like um, future preferences when making backgrounds so you don't always have to make it. You can, you know, have it saved somewhere, um, like Synergy of AC does, I think. Um, you always have this stuff prepared when making backgrounds, but yeah, now I'm going to show you how to use this in text. So if we just disable that and go to more graph, text. And then just choose a decent font. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with Bedrock. Uh, Bedrock C. Yeah, because that's like one of my favourite fonts just now. And I'm just gonna type in uh, Octo. I don't know if I don't know if I said you spell Octopus. Um. Yeah, just get your text like that. And put that to 100. Put your caps to 1. Or you can have them smaller if you want. <coughs> right, yeah, so when you've got your text, um, what you would do is you would do like your frowsy, your nitro blast, whatever you do to your text, um, get that all done first. And then. Um, then you would bring in obviously the kind of octopus arms. But I'm just gonna apply a material, so we'll click this one here. Looks okay. Double click that. Just add that on. Cubic. And then seamless. And there uh, yeah, now I've got this text. So now all I'm gonna do is able uh, enable my octopus arm and um, ah, sorry about that. Um, yeah, all you're gonna do now is um, drag it to a good position. Yeah, a good position, position that you want. <laughs> um, tongue twister there. Yeah, but all you're gonna do now is drag it to a good position. So, click this, and um, you can actually change the size of it. So, um, yeah, now we can just rotate it. <coughs> to like a good angle, um, just kind of insert it on. So, you can have it like covering around the text. I don't know, something like that. It's entirely up to you, but if you can play around with it, be creative. Um, you know. Yeah, something like that. Maybe change the size of it, that's pretty big. Yeah, like that. Um, duplicate it. Um, move it around. Stick that on the front. <clears throat> I 
and just adjust it. It's just about trial and error. Um, move it to where you want. See how it's like that. You just move that there. And uh, yeah, you can add more if you want. Um, you can go nuts. Uh, you can start drawing splines around the text and stuff and <laughs> make it look like an octopus has just um, raped your text. But yeah, I'm just keeping this simple. Um, yeah, it looks fine. So if you render that out, just add in a light because I don't have my. Oops, well, I can open a light room. Um, file. Open desktop and LR. If you don't know what Lightroom this is, this is actually Deloitte's new exclusive um, Lightroom. Well, not sure if it's exclusive, I think it actually might just be one that he's made. Not sure if it's the one he uses, but yeah, you can find it in his um, 6K pack. So now I have that open, I'll just Add this into that. Move that back. Let's just scale it down. Frame rate. Yeah, that looks alright. So, um, yeah, we can just render that out now. So, I'm just going to pause this just now and come back when um, this is rendered, so be right back. Alright guys, uh, that's me back and as you can see that's it rendered and uh, it looks pretty nice and um, the material is looking fine and uh, yeah basically that's it. If you really want to know how to tie the arms like round the text then um, just leave a comment below um, asking if I get a certain amount <laughs> well, like wondering why then I'll probably end up doing a tutorial on it so uh, please if you do not know like how to do that just leave a comment um, it's fairly simple all you have to do is grab a, your free hand or your B spline and just work your way around the text and then um, just add your arms in and basically that's it um, but if you want a tutorial on it, like I said, just leave a comment or hit me up on Skype and I can try and explain it to you. Um, so yeah, um, that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then you know what to do. Please subscribe, like and leave a comment um, with feedback or any ideas in next tutorials because I want to do a lot more. Um, you guys are giving me incredible feedback and uh, yeah, I really, I really appreciate it. <laughs> so um, yeah. Um, Thanks very much and cheers.